Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I wanted to do a quick video on backpack options for the DJI Ronin SC because this took me a little bit of time to figure out uh, this summer. So the Ronin SC is not a small piece of gear. I mean, it's a relatively chunky um, gimbal, at least relatively chunky piece of camera gear. It's not only fairly tall, it's just kind of fairly heavy and just kind of cumbersome across all different axes. So when I got this guy, I was trying to figure out, well, what kind of backpack can I use? Because uh, the way I work, the way I use the Ronin is I have uh, one of these Ulanzi quick release plates, which I really, really love. And that's actually screwed into the mounting plate. So if I show you my other, what I have the camera on now, this is my Canon Vixia HFR 800. I have this on another Ulanzi quick release plate. And this is going on just a kind of a hand grip tripod, the MT34, which I reviewed before. So if I want to take the camera and go really quickly between this and the gimbal, all I need to do is pop it out of one quick release plate uh, and secure it to the other. So that's kind of the setup. I wanted it to be fairly sort of a run and gun as such. Um, and finding a backpack big enough was a bit tricky. So two things I found. One was just looking on Amazon for like the biggest backpack I could find, which was this backpack, um, which is a 55 liter backpack by this company called uh, Europec. So this was like the biggest thing that apparently the TSA uh, will allow you to bring on an airplane flight. And uh, it's, its advantage regarding this is just that it's really chunky. So I can just open up the main compartment to get it in. Um, the one I'm going to actually show it being put into is this guy. This is the, <clears throat> this is a drone backpack that I picked up from AliExpress. It's made by a company called Uz Ozuku and it's got a hard shell. So this I'm kind of trying to keep for day to day use. It wasn't really intended as a uh, camera backpack. It doesn't have padding, whatever, but it is big enough that it'll accommodate it. And this one is intended for, it's a hard shell backpack. So um, I measured the height measure the height of the Ronin and you can see it's actually pretty decent in terms of having room for I've got a, a dead cat there I've got a mic there I've got some sunglasses here it's got room for a few personal effects as well as some cables and some tripods and most importantly I can just take the Ronin and pop it into the main compartment which has a decent amount of padding on it and you can see it manages to fit I'm not going to be able to secure it with that uh, with my hand holding this camera i'm using a smartphone gimbal but basically it gets in and then i can zip it up and it's good to go so uh these are two backpacks i can personally confirm are big enough to house the dji ronin sc not only uh to house the gimbal but to house it in its uh configured calibrated configuration both this one and also this yara backpack they're both good enough for the job